Would you rather be in a real life version of The Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? Oh my gosh, oh, why yeah. did you just ask this question? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Shoot. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I be a character from either show or movie? Because I feel like in in any situation, I'm in a lot of trouble because I do not have the ammunition for either of those scenarios. <laughs> do I get to be Chris Pratt? Yeah. I was a literally just about tamer. to ask, can I be Chris Pratt? Yeah. You got to be a girl. What's your Christine face the red Pratt. Hair? Christine, Christine Pratt. <laughs> Man. Oh. That'd be wild. There's some fast... Um, Dinosaurs, y'all. Mm hmm. <laughs> Veloc- y'all, the Velociraptor was my favorite. You ever seen Velocipaster? What? Have you seen that movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Velocipaster. It's a funny movie. Yeah. Yeah, go look at it. Uh, look, I like some sci fi movies. That one sounds a little yeah, that's a, too. That's like not even a B level movie. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is the cheesiest thing I've ever watched. It's down in their garage. I didn't even watch it. <laughs> Um, it was weird, man. <laughs> I don't really know. Regardless, I'm gonna die anyways because I don't have anything to bring to the table. Regardless, you're either fighting a zombie or you're fighting a T Rex. But it, that's the thing. Velociraptor. Like, it's a zombie apocalypse. Like they're... I could outrun zombies, huh? I could outrun zombies. I could just back up How into a bathroom no stall. Kick that one zombie show. Those zombies moved fast. But in The Walking Dead, do they move fast? World War Z. Oh, yeah. Walking Dead, they were slow. They went to World War Z zombies. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. No. <laughs> I don't want zombies, period. Yeah, I mean, I can outrun them. Just like, mm, mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> mm, mm. Katana, mm. katana, katana. Katana. You own a katana? <laughs> katana. No. What is a katana? It's, like, it's an apocalyptic. What do you have to fight these things off? I'm going to have to go somewhere and find it. I've got enough, like, I may have enough ammunition and things to protect myself with right now against zombies. I got nothing against dinosaurs. That's not, so yeah, I mean, that's true. You'd have like a, like, well, how, how many, how, like a 50 cal sniper, how many shots do you think it takes to take down T-Rex with one of those? With a 50 cal? Yeah. At least one. I mean, I don't know how thick his skin was. <laughs> at least one. At least. Um, it, it depends on where you hit him. Dead center. Zach has a lot of confidence in his ability. He does. Uh, it's the same, the same modern warfare, bro. I'm not saying. I'm, gonna, I'm saying, <laughs> like, how how many sucker scoped in? And he'll just build let's it. say you hit every single shot. How You're many shots Fortnite do you think right it would take? <laughs> There's not know, enough man. cheat codes. Their, their, brain brain super, codes their brains one. are super small, so it's going to be tough to hit that thing. I think hmm. either way, I'm dead immediately. I don't have anything to protect me. I'm just dead. And that's okay. <laughs> I'd be car. in heaven. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> Her car's name's How Wakanda. Car yeah. I can't even drive into a freaking shopping center <laughs> correctly. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I was going to say, like... <laughs> You 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 you'd be all right because you could just drive on the sidewalks Skirt. and stuff. You mm-hmm. you got Skirt. experience. <laughs> yeah, put some spikes on the front of the Wakanda, <laughs> mowing down some zombies. I don't know, man. I feel like eventually, because your your vehicle's not very high off the ground. Mm hmm. I think I would take Jurassic Park. I think that what would be cool about that? I would just die. Is there some dinosaurs you ain't got to be too scared of? Right. Yeah. And that could be cool to see dinosaurs. Go hang out with the Barontosaurus. Is that, is that the long neck? Yeah. I like the, I love Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus you know what? is legit. Or Ankylosaurus. Those are cool. I'd be friends with Blue. You know? Isn't that the name of one of the, the dinosaurs? The Velociraptor. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Me and Blue. <laughs> We'd be tight. I was like, I like purple. I'm Barney. Like, what are we? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Barney would die. No. Bar- Barney's the apex... Dinosaur. <laughs> hey guys, let's all be friends. <laughs> that was a good Barney voice. <laughs> Grew up on it. <laughs> Wouldn't own it. <laughs> good, good old Barney. Sesame Street. Did y'all ever watch Barney? Mm-hmm. I did. I did. Hmm. It was really, it was really, it was really weird. Looking wow. back, that's just a weird. That's just weird. That show is just weird. Oh, the Blues Clues kind of guy. Oh, but Blues Clues <gasps> was hard. Blues Clues was good. Me um, and Dora. Anyways, Dora was past my time. I just got to, I have to go to here he goes. Okay, 
I don't know what Alex Gatte means. Anyways. Here's, here's another one. <laughs> here's another. Here's a more serious. Oh, We've not really done a serious one, no and boy. I think this one's good. Would you rather fulfill your biggest wish or resolve your biggest regret? Biggest wish. Mm. I'd be a multimillionaire NFL football player. That's your biggest wish? Mm. Personally. Like, I'd have to go with regret. I've got some yeah. big regrets. Mm. Uh, Wish. Because I feel like all my regrets made me into the person that I am. And like the times when I did stupid things, nothing was so big that it like, I don't know. But so think about this, like I do think, you know, your, your regrets can help shape you, but was that God's plan for your life to go through that? Like I, I God, I think wanted, think of like Moses. He wanted Moses to go to the promised land, but he smacked that rock and didn't listen to him. And so he, his punishment was you cannot enter. And so, I mean, there's some regrets in my life that I think it's helped me make better decisions in my life maybe, but there's some regrets in my life where like, man, I wish I could go back and not do what I did. And it, it would save me some heartache and and things now. So the question's not, do you wish you didn't make that mistake? The question is, do you wish you could resolve that mistake? Oh, so like you still made the mistake. Yeah, you, you still make... made it. So you still oh, are who you are. No. Would you Would you like to go back and resolve that? I don't have Can that you use it for, it for example? That's what I'm So confused. Okay, so for example, let's say I wronged somebody and that person has never forgiven me. I would much rather resolve that I hurt. Hmm. That it maybe I made towards somebody. That makes sense. Rather than, because, I mean, if we talk about we're about relationships, mm-hmm. you know, restoring some relationship, for me, that would be a perfect example. I can't think of anybody in my life I've ever wronged to the point where. Oh, I can. <laughs> that you <laughs> want to resolve it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have pretty much for the most part resolved any wrongs. Yeah, before knowing Jesus, I didn't really care about some relationships. And so, yeah, I I didn't care to resolve anything or, you know, I wasn't, and I moved around so much, I I was like, I ain't going to see this person ever again. So, but I look back now, I'm like, man, you know, I think it, 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 it would do me good. Like, I, I, I guess I didn't think about like how it would impact me now with some of the things I've said and done. Um, but having that resolve and, and maybe some forgiveness would would help or would have helped some other things in my life. But, yeah. Now I'm on still the, the goal or whatever it was. <laughs> I don't have that many regrets. I, I do have regrets, but not like, I live at peace with most people. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't. Is it the like biggest wish? Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that one. I don't know. What's your biggest wish? <sighs> That's a good question. That's a lot. That's a lot. Selfishly or like humanitarianly? Like selfishly, like for the good of humankind. I had the same question if we were gonna say our wishes because I know mine self. What? Actually, this is selfish. <laughs> that Jesus would come back. Oh, come on now. Come on now. It's not a wish. It's going to happen. But like, I wish it would happen. Just, you know, sometimes I'm like, God, you know, it's today the day. Then he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, every day that I wake up the next day, he kind of tells me that because like, I'm waking up the next day. It didn't happen. So you're assuming it's going to happen at night? I don't know. It's going to happen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Some days I'm like... Yeah, you know, today would be a good day that you come back. But he doesn't because he wants people to be saved. That's the verse you used last week. Second Peter. It is. <laughs> Selfishly, I would be a football player and making millions of dollars. That's my biggest wish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love football. I'd love to play again, but... <laughs> <laughs> of course. Fortnite streamer. <laughs> you know, I do to play video games and you're a millionaire. Excuse me. Like that seems to be a common thread with you, Briar. 
It's just like the mo- money in video games. Of work and the most of video money. games, <laughs> dude. There's, I don't. You remember we tried streaming for a little bit. We tried, and you hated it. You did hate it. I didn't hate it. He didn't get money from it either. Yeah. that's true. If I was getting paid to have an awful time on yeah, video, I don't know. I you got to start somewhere. I wouldn't hate it. I yeah. think you quit uh, before you really so get started with yeah. like oh, with like football, dude. There's some guys who I mean. There are some guys who probably wish they didn't play football. Hmm. That's true. I would either want to be a streamer or a third string quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta be a kicker. That's what you gotta do. You be a kicker. No, because if you miss one time, you're off the team. But like, you're a really good <laughs> kicker. Like, you're you're the best kicker ever. You're Justin Tucker, making ten million dollars a year. To- my goal is how much money can I make with the least amount of money? Bro, you just got to go to practice engineer. and kick field goals. That's or not that bad. how much money can I make in the most amount of fun? Wish you were a petroleum engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so I was uh, – so that podcast that I, I sent you talking about God and money. Oh, yeah. Really right. good. This dude was like such a type A big saver and all this stuff. He made graphs of like everything. And so he he made a graph of what what job would pay me the most – with the least amount of work, and he came up with petroleum engineer. Hmm. I've heard that Mason mm-hmm. was going to school for that. Gosh, and he stopped going to college. I ain't smart enough for that. So, Lily, what's your uh, greatest, uh, biggest wish? I'm like, <laughs> this is actually really, it's pretty reasonable. I want to be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> so bad. I love that. That's yeah, cool. But I want to be a stay-at-home mom with a husband that makes good money. (laughs) So then me and my kiddos can hop in the car, go to Target. What if the husband doesn't make a lot of money? What? What if the husband? That's part of the wish. That's part of the wish. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, Hannah. If my husband doesn't make a lot of money one day, Lord willing, (laughs) that's okay. I'm trying, Hannah. I'm trying. (laughs) (laughs) That was a big deal for us. Stay at home, mom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bailey would love that. I didn't make a lot of money. We managed. I'm, we made it. I like. I'm. I want it. I want I this that. to be prefaced that it is okay if my future husband does not make a lot of money. <laughs> it's just part of the wish because if I'm dreaming, <laughs> no, I wasn't I'm dreaming too big. It wasn't like I was saying I'm going to play in the NFL. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> no, I just want to be a single mom, but I want my husband to make a lot of money. <laughs> it's a part of the wish. <laughs> So basically, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Living at peace. I don't really know. Regardless, I'm going to die anyway. Peace is good. Yeah. Peace I'm, is I'm good. A, I'm going to give that to, to Leah. I like hers. Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. That one's close to my heart, so I like that one. So yeah. what if we said, what if I said, I don't care about I'll no be NFL. a stay at home <laughs> dad? <laughs> Does that work? No, that doesn't work at all, bro. <laughs> okay. Bro, Shoot, I, wouldn't I mind couldn't be a stay at home dad. No, I could not. I could. I mean, like, I you could. have to get a hobby or something. No, nah, I. I Your job is the kids? Take I take care of the kids. And, Dude, Bailey makes $2 million a year. I'll do it. I couldn't. <laughs> I'd have to get a job. Yeah, why not? Shoot big. Make a big win. <laughs> if Hannah made $80,000, i would be fine staying home. Yeah. Do you think that like, mentally that like, you could, like, do that? It was like they drive you crazy and just like, dude, I have so much fun with the boys. Oh really? Oh yeah. You just take them outside and we just go. You go. I bought. I spent sixteen dollars so, on a shovel. So. <laughs> sixteen dollars on a mini shovel, and Bo had the time of his life for an hour <laughs> digging a hole. <laughs> so so much fun. In life. That's a simple thing. I love you that. Take them inside. I'm watching the movie Hole. You know what I... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so... So part of that is I... Uh, it was about a year ago, maybe, I bought a little tiny treasure chest from uh, Amazon. I buried oh. it, I, and I made a map. And, dude, I went all out. Like, I crumpled up some paper, I drew on it, and uh, burnt the edges, and then uh, let it sit in some coffee. And mm. that coffee tans it. And so uh, I get home from work, and I'm like, Bo, I found this treasure map. And his eyes are like, oh, let's go. I said, this is our house. The treasure's in the backyard. That's pretty legit. Yeah. Oh, he was all about it. And so we were following the map where it tells us to go around our trees and stuff. And we get to the X. So all right, let's start digging. 
And so uh, I had a little spade for him at that time. So he's digging. The first second he saw the the treasure box, like eyes lit up, and he was so excited. I'm like, all right, let's get it, let's get it. So we open it up. It's got like the fake coins. It it made his Heck day. Yes. It, it was so awesome. wholesome. Oh my goodness, it That's was so sweet. It Gotta was make a so girl cry. <laughs> <laughs> and so like, what'd you say? I said that would make a girl cry. Like a stay at home mom cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was it was one of the fun. It's so it was just so easy to do. And like for Shep, all I did was I had some uh, scrap wood and I just built a little obstacle course for him to kind of walk on. And dude would would get done and something to jump off to. of. And Jeff, <laughs> yeah, loves. Ju- he, he was jumping off the. Jump. He was jumping off his brother's bed this morning. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. It's like three feet in the air. <laughs> Stuck landing once. The other times, he almost smacked his face. <laughs> but yeah, sweet. I, there's times I'm like, man, stay at home, dad, be pretty fun. You'd be a streamer. Could be. No, you can't. No, you can't. If you got both your kids hooked on the same game. If your kids are adults, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you definitely could. Mm. <laughs> I've seen some streamers where it's like they got their kids oh. on Minecraft. Well, then their kids who, ain't being good the, taken care of. Who's the streamer that Rick hmm. watches? Chuck. Ch- uh, Rick watches l- the streamer. Ch- it's the guy, like the guy, the little <laughs> kid. Yeah, it's Ch- House, House of Chubb. Chubb. He's got House all the, Chubb. his whole family's like. Uh, Shout out to House of Chubb. Right. <laughs> House of Chubb. Pretty sure that's it. He plays with them on Fortnite sometimes. They, yeah, they play like as a family kind of thing. He's got a pretty nice setup. When y'all talk about video games or football, I just shut up because I don't know (laughs) nothing. I don't think that's it. All right, Leah, would you rather your husband be a football fanatic or a gamer? (laughs) I think, I don't know. What kind of games? Because I like like Mario. I'm a Super Mario girl. 3D World. 3D World? I never played that one. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I used to play Call of Duty as a kid oh. with my dad. That's cool. Gamer. I don't know because I like specific football, but I don't know anything. Like I'm like I know how the game works. But I, here's here's what I would think about. Traveling, like if he's a fanatic, he's wanting to travel and go to these different stadiums and stuff like that. So you can, oh, football, some, yeah, football. I've actually also read a stat though that says gamer boyfriends are less likely to cheat on you than any other kind of boyfriend. That's because they're just sitting there, but they're also games. less likely to interact with you, bro. I mean, they're not, <laughs> you know, they could be doing worse, you know? but I'm talking husband. <laughs> We're talking about a husband. That's what I'm saying. Like, you want your husband to cheat on you? I well, hope. You know he's not going to. Cause no, because he'd be a godly man. I say, thank, thank you, yeah. <laughs> he's going to be a godly, he's going to be a godly football fanatic that wants to travel everywhere and see all these stadiums. And we're going to go together. And then we're going to go to Target. <laughs> Bro, if he's target, a godly man, he ain't going to Target. Gonna target. <laughs> he ain't going to Target. He ain't going to Target. Okay, he's going to go see the stadium and then I'm going to go to Target. <laughs> no, he ain't. Never mind. Never mind. Why are y'all so rude? <laughs> Let me live out my dreams. I'm literally yeah, just talking about my <laughs> dreams. In my dream, my husband's gonna go to Target with me. In my dreams. Did you okay? see any? Never mind. It's a weird dream. Yeah, never mind. What? All right. Zach, I keep, you I keep can't saying. Just y'all are so say, critical. Never mind. We're gonna start putting a tag. And your dreams. So you're, you're gonna see the Antichrist. What you say? I or said it. They didn't hear me. Something about the Antichrist. <laughs> Respectfully. They didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I finished goodness. my statement. You said. Respectfully, let me be disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got cut some of this stuff out. Why? Because. Because y'all are being too critical. No, it's not. Period. Too critical. <laughs> yep. Of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another would you rather? Nope. That's it. Boom, That's boom. it. So, welcome to the Road Student Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leah, you excited about tonight? Am I excited about tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what we're talking about? Habakkuk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? What about Habakkuk? Oh, you didn't read? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? 
She probably read Ezra. Shouldn't it be in the seat right now. I haven't today, read right? Ezra five yet. I need to. I read this morning. Was it pretty good? Yeah. Still processing it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll drop. I'll drop my track tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, read Ezra. Yeah, did you? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I haven't done it yet. I had a had it's a late interesting night whole show. conversation that's going on in Ezra. Yeah, um, kind of where we are too. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It's pretty mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. So Habakkuk. Um, I mean, last week we talked about. You know, he has these questions. It's all right to question God, right? I think there's, some, there's a, an amount of reverence and respect we're supposed to have in those questions. But uh, he's got a couple of questions for God. And, and at the end, or I guess I should say at the beginning of chapter 2, he says, I'm going to wait here. All right, I'm going to wait here like a watchman until you give me an answer. And that's kind of like where it ends off. And then God comes with his answer. Um, so, Zach, what, you know, what about God's answer? Oh, well, God's answer. I'm just kidding. Um, what we're talking about is in the high school, we kind of have similar points, but di- different worded points. Um, the Just some truths we need to understand about God's answer. When we, because we're, gonna, we're all going to ask questions about like, what, to God. I think it's just the nature of who we are as human beings. Like There's things that happen when like, God, what's going on? We know that he knows all. And I think that's what Habakkuk's doing. He's like, God, I know you have something. Like This is who you are. So, well, like, what, what what's going on? Mm-hmm. Um, and when we ask those questions, we need to understand some truths about God's answers. And the three truths that we talk about is that God's answer um, is comes in His timing, right? And kind of like you said, Habakkuk watches; He's waiting, mm-hmm. right? It's not like a demand where He's like, "Oh, do this, God." He's like, "Okay, I've asked my question. Now I'm going to wait mm-hmm. because God, I know God answers in His timing, um, whenever it's perfect and right." Um, and then you move on to the next part is. God's answers is not, are not for our happiness. All right? Everything God does is for His glory. All right? God. Some people think that God exists to answer prayers and make us happy and just be, become be some kind of fairy godparent or something like that. But like God exists for His glory, mm-hmm. right? And my, one thing that I talk about is He bless. Like he, the reason He blesses and protects His children is because that in turn brings Him glory. Right? He loves us and He does it. But in the end, by protecting, providing for His children, that brings Him glory. And God's answers are for His glory, ultimately. And sometimes that means we gotta go through some hard times. Yeah. Um, well, oh no, I just you know, do you have a hard time waiting for an answer? Like mm-hmm. if you text them with a group and <laughs> you're trying to make a plan for what y'all gonna do that night. It stresses me the heck out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was younger, I didn't have an issue with like, like oh, okay, you know, we'll get together and we'll do something. Like something's gonna happen. You know, I didn't have. But now that I got an older, I've got some responsibilities. I've got kids. I've got my wife. Like, like that time is precious to me. So mm. when I'm texting someone saying, "Hey, what are we doing?" or like, "What's going on?" They're like, and they don't respond. Like an hour goes by, two hours go by. I'm like, "Y'all, I I need this." Like, it's hard for me to wait because I'm like, I I don't want to be doing nothing. And you um, keep looking, and it just shows delivered. Yes, <laughs> read receipts. Are no, off. no, no, no. <laughs> it says red. Oh, and then I'm oh. like, yo, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> but um get left on red by God. But that's how bro. we But <laughs> I don't think that's what that yeah. uh, But I I you know, we're we're so used to this instant lifestyle. And I talked about this in the high school last week. You know, we we've got Instapots, we've got Instagram. What's an um, Instapot? I really I didn't I meant to ask that last week. We'll we'll talk about it later. Okay. Um, <laughs> um but like we have a hard time waiting on God mm-hmm. and how important it is for us to wait on his time because it is perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got a plan set in place um, and you know he, he's not going to do it before or after that set time that he's mm-hmm. determined, right? Um, but yeah, and you know he, he acts according to his will and according mm-hmm. to his word. And what's awesome about that is, you know, uh, we've got his word. We've got what he's actually said because he tells Habakkuk, hey, write this down, Yeah. right? And so we know that God's word comes from him, though it is written by humans. Mm-hmm. Um, and how great it is that God does um, act according to his word because uh, his word is perfect, it's true, um, and, and it comes to fruition, right? Everything that we've seen that God said, hey, this is going to happen, happened. Mm-hmm. And the, the one thing we're waiting on right now is Christ's return, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Um, we're waiting on one final answer. Yeah. Yeah, one final answer. And like, 
you know, have you guys ever done like seen those riddles come across? I guess y'all don't have Facebook. Sometimes, oh, I do. I'm not on it. Like <laughs> sometimes, like a <laughs> riddle will come across on Facebook, and the, you know, you got all these people like saying the question or the answer, seeing what they say the answer is. But uh, something I'm going to use in my teaching is like, you know, let's say there's a, a riddle put online, and and the person who the whoever answers it gets life changing money, mm-hmm. and you find out what it is. Are you going to share that with your family? You share the answer with your family? Are you gonna share it with your friends? Are you gonna share it with you know someone who really could use that life changing money? And that's what we have with the Bible. We have God's answer for life, mm-hmm. and it's our responsibility to go run with it. And that's what uh, uh, God tells Habakkuk: write it clearly so whoever yeah, reads know. it can run. And that idea is that they can go and share with the people with them. Mm-hmm. So there's a, it, you know we're supposed to read God's word. You know, that's why it's important to be in, in the Bible reading plan, knowing what God's word says so we can share it with the people around us. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think it'd be, a, it's going to be a good week. It's going to be good. I, I've, I've really enjoyed Habakkuk. Mm-hmm. It's one of those books that you don't. Oh, you know. uh, bro, I love Habakkuk. I relate to him so much. Just, I did, I did How do. so? No, I think every day I think I, I'm praying God, like <laughs> back to what I said earlier, I'm like, God wins enough, enough. Like when are, when are you gonna deal with this, like this this world? Mm-hmm. But then when I was making this lesson even in the past month. God revealed to me, Zach, you do realize what you're asking for for me to deal with evil once and for all is that a lot of people are gonna go to hell. Yeah, and it's like, why would you not one more day for mm-hmm. one more person to be saved? And I was just like, okay, God, oh, yeah. I, I see like, your point. What are you doing in yeah. your life? Mm-hmm. Like, are you sharing God's word? Yeah, are you sharing His love? Are you sharing the gospel of Jesus? Mm-hmm. Um, so a little bit of a heart check. Yeah, no, it was. It was definitely for me. Yeah. I was reminded of that reading Ezra today, just like about what spiritual investments and like what investments am I making with my time um, mm. and like mentoring the girls that I mentor. Like that's a big deal and that should be a priority. Mm-hmm. Um, even when like my plate does feel full with school and all these other things, like that's something that is making big changes in people's lives. Mm-hmm. And it's something that like it impacts me in a great way, but like it's impacting these girls and these girls are impacting other people and their schools. And so like, it's something that is worth the time that I'm investing. Um, I don't know. It was just like a big, like, okay, God, I hear you. Like, even when my plate's full, even when I'm super busy, like this is something that I have to, it's a plate I have to keep carrying. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. Cool. God's answer coming to you soon. Mm. Hopefully, never mind. I can't do that. Hey, like, what's the number? Ne- what's the never mind count? <laughs> Bro, this is like, <laughs> the number of times Zach's just been like, man, I wish the world would just end today. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I wish the world would just. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>